analysts, business leaders, and opposition lawmakers believe President Duterte failed to detail revival plans for an economy that has been heavily battered by the COVID-19 pandemic. Malacanang had earlier said the president would unveil the COVID-19 recovery roadmap in his penultimate sauna, but the president did not go into the nitty-gritty of things. Instead, he asked lawmakers to pass stimulus measures to revive the economy that is on the brink of a recession caused by a lockdown that is one of the world's strictest and longest. He called on lawmakers to fast-track the passage of the Bayanihan II, which would let him allocate another 140 billion pesos for various health programs. The first law that has since expired allowed the president to realign 275 billion pesos. That's for the COVID-19 response program. In a speech that lasted for nearly two hours, the president cautioned against fully reopening the economy to pre-pandemic levels, saying the good would be outweighed by the bad it will generate, as he points to, the rising infections. The country has so far logged over 82,000 COVID-19 cases. At one point in his sauna, President Duterte said he pleaded with Chinese President Xi Jinping, that's a few days ago, to prioritize the Philippines once Beijing finds a COVID-19 vaccine. The president also asked Congress to fast-track the approval of the bill seeking to lower corporate income taxes to 25% from the current 30%. The president also vowed to help MSMEs affected by the lockdowns. Phil Export President Sergio Luis Ortiz Luis says the business community wanted to hear the details of the stimulus measures, especially for small businesses. Ortiz Luis specifically wanted the president to discuss the Arise Bill. This is a stimulus package that seeks to earmark 1.3 trillion pesos for mass testing, wage subsidies, and aid for small companies. The business community earlier released a so-called wish list asking for stimulus measures and legislation that will open the country to more foreign direct investments. British Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines Executive Director Chris Nelson said he was looking forward to the budgets that would be allotted to specific sectors under the 140 billion peso Bayanihan II bill. University of the Philippines political science professor Maria Ella Atienza believes that president, the president presented a few good points, but these were drowned out when he talked about the war on drugs and we, when he attacked the opposition Senator Franklin Drillon for supposedly defending the Lopezes. Albay representative Ed Selagman says the president's address left a, quote, big hole, unquote, in the overall response to the pandemic.